News for Tucson Sports Director Paul Sicala is in San Antonio with a look at what's ahead for the Cats. How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Kala. We are live here in San Antonio, and as they say here in this part of Texas, saludos desde San Antonio, or cheers from San Antonio. And as everybody knows, the Arizona Wildcats lost to Houston with the chance to punch their ticket to the Elite Eight, but a lot of fans have decided to remain here in San Antonio to take part of everything that the city has to offer and truly just take advantage of their vacation. That said, the Arizona Wildcats are back in Tucson, but they are still looking forward to the next season. They accomplished a lot this season. Of course, they ended up with 33 victories and just four losses, and there are lots of returners to next year's squad. So Coach Tommy Lloyd and his boys definitely have a lot to look forward to. This was one of the few easy shots for Christian Coloco in the Arizona Wildcats Sweet 16 loss to Houston. But not enough of those made it through the hoop. Houston was playing a smothering defense, making it difficult to get open looks while playing in front of a Texas crowd, obviously cheering overwhelmingly for Houston. There's a lot of stuff we could have done better in order for us to win the game. And um, I, don't have a lot, I don't have a lot to say. Now, time to look ahead for the Wildcats. Arizona's still a young team, and as everyone most likely returning, with the exception of star Benedict Matherin, who will most likely end up in the NBA. While Christian Coloco, because of his breakout season, could flirt with the thoughts of leaving, but only time will tell. Built some foundational pieces this year that are gonna really serve us well moving forward. So, you know, extremely proud of the guys, um, extremely proud of the coaching staff. And, and who wouldn't be? The team battled from unranked in the regular season to a Pac-12 regular season and conference tournament title to a number one seed. Coach Lloyd hopes the learning experience of a loss could lead to the cutting down of the Nets again next season. Bear down, my friends. Ending the season with an amazing 33 victories and just four losses is not too shabby. So the Arizona Wildcats obviously exceeded expectations. Remember, they weren't even ranked in the preseason, and Coach Tommy Lloyd inherited a program from Sean Miller that was in shambles, a program that was under NCAA investigation for misconduct and also allegedly there was bribes that were being thrown out and allegedly there was corruption as well. He had to deal with all that in addition to trying to keep some of the players from transferring, in addition to trying to get some transfers to come to the U of A. And he did just that and he worked magic so the Arizona Wildcats could not only make it to the NCAA tournament, but they would be a number one seed in the process, winning the Pac-12 regular season title and winning the Pac-12 tournament title. So all in all, a great season. So we can continue to say bear down right here in San Antonio as we continue forward. Reporting from the site of the NCAA tournament, now it'll be the Elite Eight right here in San Antonio, Texas at the historic Riverwalk. Paul C. Cala, News 4, Tucson.